It's just like the worst thing ever. Like who does that to people? people yelling and screaming, running, so I said, okay, and there must be something going on. So I saw the yellow, uh, blinded copper, so I, so I saw her and I followed her all the way upstairs, up near there, and I followed her, and just as we got to around the, around the corner, because I saw them coming, just as we were coming around the corner, there he was, he just came in and just started floating towards us, and all I heard was put it down, and then um, she shot him, and then, then she walked over and gave him C then was giving him CPR, so... And it had a nice big blade on him, so she chucked the knife away and, yeah. Uh, went into the centre, directed by a range of people. She confronted the offender who had moved by this stage to level five. As she continued to walk quickly behind him to catch up with him, he turned faced her, raised a knife. She discharged a firearm and that person is now deceased. As a result, there were four female women deceased in the shopping centre and one male. And subsequently, another female passed away in hospital, taking it to a total of six, plus the death of the offender. There are about eight people in hospitals around Sydney being treated for different injuries associated with being attacked in the hospital, uh, in, sorry, at the shopping centre, including a nine-month-old infant that is being, has been in surgery. It, it would appear uh, that this person has elect, acted alone. Uh, the motives are not known yet and uh, speculation on that would not be uh, helpful uh, at this time.